Hello Aquarius, I am here with a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate with anyone who has Aquarius strongly in their chart, but it will not fit for everyone. Not all Aquarius people are moving through the same types of experiences. Um, we have complicated natal charts. We're all different ages. We all live in different parts of the world. Um, so not all stories will resonate with you, but hopefully there's something here. Um, if it doesn't resonate, hopefully there's something here that will help you um, as you move forward. All right, Aquarius, I um, welcome you, my beautiful friends, into this space just as you are in this moment. Happy to have you. Welcome aboard. Let's see what story is here for Aquarius. What is the story for Aquarius? What is the story for Aquarius? Current energy for the sign of Aquarius. Current energy for the sign of Aquarius. Current energy for the sign of Aquarius, please. Current energy for this group of Aquarian people. For this group of Aquarian people, please. Current energy, please. Damn, Aquarius. Current energy for this group of people. Current energy for this group of people. Current energy, please. Current energy. Wow, this came in sideways, didn't it? Didn't it? All right, and now we're looking at the future incoming energy. What Aquarius will be stepping into in the future? What will Aquarius be stepping into in the future? What will Aquarius be stepping into the future, please? What will Aquarius be stepping into in the future? Death energy flipped over, didn't come out. What will Aquarius be stepping into in the future? Gotta breathe, breathe, Jody. Breathe, Jody, breathe. What will Aquarius be stepping into in the future? Aquarius be stepping into in the next immediate future, the next week or two, the next three weeks, the next month. It would be arrogant of me to put uh, a real sure time frame on it. We have to allow spirit to co-create with us. What will step Aquarius be stepping into in the next immediate future? What will Aquarius be stepping into in the next immediate future? What will Aquarius be stepping into? In the next immediate future. All right. It's like we're working to manifest something. All right. And guidance, please, for Aquarius. Guidance, please, for Aquarius. Guidance, please, for Aquarius. Guidance, please, for Aquarius. All right, let's look at what's here for you. Well, here you are, Aqua, front and center in the middle of your story. This is a this is a destiny that you're creating. It's there has been a great healing. There has been a great empowerment. The star energy um, really comes out. Well, this is a reading for Aquarius, but the star energy itself comes out after, after a period of transformation, healing and, and empowerment, right? So you're, you're living in your truth. You are um, living um, very powerfully in your own unique sense of yourself. And this is bringing you into some sort of destiny that has been um waiting for you or that has been created with you or by you or or in given to you from the universe there's some kind of destiny kind of energy here aquarius we have the wheel of fortune here so something is moving forward there could be some new successes here for you there's some new momentum there's a new season here for you a new season a new journey um, and and it's a journey that you're on in your own truth and in your own empowerment this is a kind of journey. These are the kinds of energies that create success with the wheel of fortune and the star energy. There's a destiny here. There is a life path here. There is a great story to be, to be authored and to be lived and to be, um, and to be walked. Right. And, and there's new momentum. There's new successful movement in this direction. We also see tangible evidence of success here with it. <coughs> with the Prince of Pentacles, tangible evidence of success here. Now we're moving into an energy change because I can feel it in my throat, but don't forget as you're moving into this, there's a destiny here. 
There's empowerment here. There's truth here. You are living in your own essence, Aquarius. And that is brilliant. It's amazing. <coughs> There's an energy change. This is part of your story. This is nothing that you can give away or that you should ever give away or let anybody else take from you. This is a path that you have created because you have um, moved the wheel forward through your own ability to heal, to empower yourself, to live in your truth, and to shine up all the light of who you are. Receive it from the heavens and shine it out as you are, right? You're seeing tangible evidence of this. You're seeing incl in 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 inclinations of success. You're seeing evidence, a bag of money, counting it, keeping track of it. Counting, counting your victories, tracking your goals, tracking your successes here, and you're starting to see some real evidence of success. Now, there's something happening here that's sideways. Um, it is an energy of um, the devil energy over the hierophant. So there's some sort of um, okay. I'm going to move these cards up. And I'm going to dig deeper into what these energies are. There's something you've been dealing with here. There's some sort of a situation you've been dealing with that is beginning to change. And so I'm digging deeper into what this is. It's a, and I kept feeling it. I kept, that's why I was coughing. I was getting into this energy here. There's like a secondary story that's taking place. You know, as we transition and find success, um, sometimes there are elements to that that can be really challenging. King of Swords, there you are. So there is some sort of situation here, either with a contract that you have, an agreement that you have. Um, could be something that you're dealing with with, with um, an organization. Could be a religious organization or a community organization or a large company. Um, but it does have something to do with the community outside of you, an agreement that you have um, with a person, with an employer, with a business partner, um, some sort of, of community um, structure that helps society move um, in an efficient way um, so that we don't all crash into each other, right? It's like a highway system. That's what the higher font is. To me, the higher font is a highway system, uh, a, a system of traffic laws, and so that we can all kind of work our way to our destination and not, um, and we try not to impact the other people, right? We all kind of flow in a way that's organized. Um, higher font. That's a higher front energy to me. Well, the devil energy is with that. So there's some sort of toxic situation around a working agreement or around an, um, could even be a marriage or, or an engagement or some sort of, um, contract that you have with someone or in a, com or within a community. Um, there could be fear around this contract, this agreement, um, this community. There could be a toxic situation. There could be negativity and darkness. Um, obsession, addiction, um, fear of the darkness, fear of failure, whatever it is, there's some sort of toxic situation um, with this higher font energy, right? And you're, you're moving through um, this situation here, deciding which way you're going to take action as a king of swords. So here you are, Aquarius. Um, you, you're deciding which way you're going to, you have this situation that's not good. It's not a good situation. Um, you're coming up with some strategies. King of Swords is here. I'm not worried about this situation. I'm not, you have this under control, right? You have this under control. You have found clarity on what this is. It has to do with this, the success that you've been gaining for one. And this success that you've been gaining has to do with this fork in the road. It has to do with some sort of decision that you have to make on what kind of a strategy of action are you going to take? Because this system exists, this situation exists. Now, it's in the process of changing this situation. It's in the process of changing. It could be building in strength, or it could be waning in, in strength. 
For some of you, it's building. For others, it's waning. It's not one or the other. Okay, so it just kind of depends um, on what it is. But there is some sort of a decision now that you are making here um, that is to counteract this. It is to stop this. It is to remove yourself from this. Whatever it is, it's to, it's to resolve this situation for yourself. And you're putting all the puzzles of the, the pieces of the puzzle together so that you can see the big picture and you're creating your plan. You're looking at what you're going to do. You're creating your plan. You're not talking right now. You're not talking. You're not communicating. You're just thinking and you're planning and you're creating a strategy. The queen of swords would be talking. You're the king of swords right now. You're thinking, you're deliberating, you're getting ready to make a ruling. And when you're in this king of swords energy, like, it's going to be evidence. It's going to be truth. People really can't respond to the King of Swords with anything um, that that is worthwhile. The King of Swords is the judge, is the judge and the jury, right? That's the energy of the King of Swords. It's evidence based. It's facts. It's figures. No emotion. And when we go into a situation like this, without emotion, but with facts and figures and logic, it's a beautiful way to handle this. Because this is not, this is not logic. This is emotional. This is negativity. This is fear, right? This is logic. And logic and truth will trump this every time. And here you're coming up with your strategy of how you're going to do this. Okay, so this is the group of Aquarius people that I'm reaching out to. Let's see what's going to happen as you move forward. What will happen as you move forward? Seven of Wands. All right. Princess of Swords. Temperance Energy. Lateral. Six of Swords. Two of Swords. Look at all these swords. Eight of Cups. Knight of Swords. So as you go into the next week or two, because I think this is a shorter time period, I'm feeling, I don't feel like it's a month or two months. I, I feel like it's the next seven to 10 days. I really do. It could be longer for some of you, but I feel like this is a shorter time period. So as you move into the next week, tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, um, you're going to be in the energy of self-protection, right? There's a storm. It's floody. It's emotional. It's emotional. Remember, this water here, this flood, it's, it represents emotion. Look, look, at, the, look at your face. <laughs> Sorry. See, I'm Aquarius, so I can, I can laugh. I can laugh with us. Look at that face. <laughs> so it's, it's like a, um, you, you're protecting. You're protecting yourself. You have created something here that is your own, that is through the hard work the empowerment, the digging deep, the transformation that you've gone through. This is something to protect. This is not something to give away or that anyone else um, deter you or diminish you in any way, right? So you're in this defensive energy. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. And um, we have the two of swords here. So um, there is no more illusion about what this is. Whatever this energy is, this weak energy, addiction energy, codependent energy, maybe somebody could be codependent on you. And um, when we have codependent people and we have other people finding empowerment and going through transformation, that doesn't work out very well because you stop giving your energy and they stop receiving energy or the energy is different and it doesn't happen. It, or narcissists the same way. So we're dealing with somebody here who is, is um, within a, society or with a contract or something who is now at a different vibration. They're at a different vibration than you are. Right. And this is, this is something that you're seeing now you're seeing it maybe for the first time, or maybe you have seen it all along because it's over the top of the Prince of Swords. So you've been waiting or you've been noticing this probably with the page of swords, you've been noticing this. You could have been uneasy about this. It could have been, you know, pricking your consciousness. It could have been, um, a red flag waving to the sideline, trying to catch your connection or your, your attention. Page of Swords is here. 
And over this period of time of, of observing this situation, you have clarity on what it is. You know, it's un, it makes you uneasy too. It makes you uneasy. But there's also a lesson here. The Page of Swords is a student. And as we move through our empowerment and as we go down our pathways, we are always learning. We are never perfect. If you are going through a new situation, you must be allowed to learn. You must be allowed to learn and expand, right? That's part of life. That's part of new journeys. And that is a right that is given to human beings. That is a, that is a right that's given to anything living on this earth to grow and expand. So there's clarity over this and it could make you uncomfortable. It's not a good feeling, right? This is, this is not, this two of swords energy is kind of like possibly two different perspectives coming together and getting stuck. This other person, this Hierophant energy, or the person that's connected to the Hierophant energy could have, or the community, their own perspective. Their own perspective that they have found a lot of power within, or they have lived within the illusion of whatever it is, or they believe strongly in whatever their perspective is. So there is some sort of seeing what this is now, because you're, these people are, there's no blindfold over this two of swords and the arms are down, right? One, the arm is open. The other arm is over the chest. So um, <clears throat> one of you could be more um, deciphering and um understanding than the other. Yeah, one of you could be more deliberate and understanding and advanced than the other. And I think you've been watching this for a while. You've been watching this build and you've been having patience, but I don't think you have patience for it anymore. I don't think you have patience for it anymore. I think you're ready to walk away or the other person can walk away. And you've been tempering this. You've been saying, let me work through this. Let me dig deeper. Maybe there's a solution here. Maybe there's a solution here. Maybe it doesn't have to be radical. Maybe there's a win-win, right? So you're, so you're working on, um, the, com the complexity of it. You're thinking about it. Um, you're really, um, able to, um, be compassionate and patient and understanding about a situation. Whatever this situation is, the devil energy with the, with the higher font is something that you can understand, right? So far, it's been something that you've kind of been able to understand and you've been patient, but this situation is building to the point where it needs to stop. It needs to be put into control because the longer it goes, the more it's going to flare out of control. And then we're going to have a crisis. So this is talking about some sort of ending of this compassion and patience. And we have the Knight of Swords here too. But there's swords everywhere. Swords and water, all right? So if there's somebody that, that's saying they're gonna walk away, you're gonna you're losing your patience for that. Walk away then, right? You might be thinking that you're gonna walk away, right? That might be part of the scenario. You might not need this person, right? You, you might be wondering at this point in time, now that you've reached this empowerment and this health, you are finding that this person could be an unhealthy energy for yours. You know what I mean? Like, like oftentimes when there's a vibration change, both of you feel the pain, whether it's a community or another person or a coworker or a employee, if there's a difference in energy, a difference in vibration, both of you feel the pain, not just one of you, both of you do. So there is a lack of patience now. Now there's a time that this needs, this is getting to the point where it needs to be, it needs to be solved. It needs to be resolved or solved or Somebody needs to walk away then if it can't be because it can't continue to build. It's not healthy and it could start to affect your progress and you don't want that. So there is some sort of truth here that you're ready to bring forward. And I like the Knight of Swords truth. It's truth. It's not flattery. It's not love and nourishment. It's truth. It's direct truth. It's logic. There's no emotion. Here's what we said. Here's what we're going to do. Does that feel fair? No, it doesn't feel fair. Okay. What will be the equal exchange? There needs to be equality, you know? And so it's a conversation and it's very logical and you don't get drawn into these floodwaters, right? You don't get drawn in. That's not your flood. This is not your flood. 
So there's no need to get drawn in to this drama, this drama here. It's not yours. See, you're protecting yourself from it. It's not your drama. So whatever's going on here, you're staying on top of it. You're staying within the mentality, the powerhouse of who you are, the mental stability and clarity of who you are, King of Swords. And you're being very careful with your words and you're moving forward. And you don't care what's going to happen, really, because you're at the point now where you could easily walk away or you could say, okay, walk away. So there's nothing here that you're afraid of losing. Because remember, you're in the star energy with the Wheel of Fortune, right? So you're coming forward with, with what, you're want, what you want. It's still over the top of the temperance energy. So there still is um, a, an energy of kindness and compassion. But there's no wiggle room here. It's, it's about equality. It's about equality. And it needs to be equal. One person can't keep taking from the other or can't keep de demanding from the other what they can no longer provide or what they're no longer interested in doing. So there needs to be clarity here and decisions made so there, there can be forward movement. And as we move forward, I see that you're moving into a period of peace about this. You're moving into a period of peace. So you know what you're going to say, you know what you're going to do, and you're moving forward. And you're feeling much more stable, much more stable now. So you're not letting this tide water, you're not letting this flood of emotions impact you anymore. You found your balance. All right, you found your balance. Let's see, um, I'm going to pull a couple more cards here for this moving forward. I kind of want to see how this goes. We'll just go with the Six of Swords, what will happen? What will happen? Well, it's going to be an end of something here, end of the cycle. Um, something could be coming to an end. So either you're resolving it or somebody's walking away. Ten of Swords doesn't have to be, um, well, the Six of Swords, this is a clarifying, getting control over this trauma. You're, you're getting control over the situation, right? You're getting control. Let me get, I'm going to get the Hierophant and the Devil Energy back out here. And I'm going to ask, we'll go deeper into this in the extended, of course. Um, let me move these out of the way. I'm going to keep that lateral. I'm going to get this devil in a higher font like this. And I'm going to see what's going to happen with this. What's going to happen? Give us a couple cards here. Give us an inclination or an idea of how this can go. How will this go? Well, we have Knight of Wands energy, Knight of Cups energy, and Ten of Cups. So I think it, it could be resolved here. This is you here in the Knight of Wands energy, Eight of Swords energy. Manifesting. You've really figured out a way to deal with this. You've figured out a way to deal with this. This is you. You've figured out a way to deal with this. You're moving forward in the Knight of Wands energy. This is taking action. This is having inner fire. Um, this is really lighting the situation up. Um, the Knight of Wands inspires. He influences. He um rescues which i don't think you're going to be doing but he moves in in that way he solves situations he solves problems it's a very short-term energy that you're going to be in but you're going to be able to solve this problem <coughs> now the person that's excuse me it's an energy so there's an energy change now again i always do that when the energy changes so this has been has kept you in in a real um, dilemma here, trying to figure out what to do about this devil with the higher font. I don't think this is an energy that that you really created. 
but usually the devil energy does take two, but it could also be somebody here um, who is quite dependent or addicted or something. It could be that before you became into the star energy, that you had a certain kind of relationship with this community or with this person. And as you came into a healing place and as you empowered, you felt this empowerment and you became empowered, you no longer wanted this kind of an energy and you started moving away from it. Well, what happens when you move away from that kind of a, a an energy? There is a there is a, um, there, there's like a backfiring. Um, the other person or the other community then therefore has to change as well because you're no, no longer feeding this energy. You're no longer feeding it. So when you no longer feed it, it needs to, it gets hungry and it needs to find a source of hunger. And this has been kind of trapping you, but you're, you're getting to business, you're getting to business here. Um, you're really using all of the skills that you have and you're manifesting in the way that you can manifest Aquarius some new kind of way of doing it emperor the emperor knows how to fight he he fights he's been through the trenches he's been in many battles and many wars and now he's building his empire differently he would prefer not to fight he would prefer not to be in the trenches he wants to do things with efficiency with guidelines and with processes so what i think is going to happen here is you're going to build um, a, a system and a process that really is is much more foolproof or fail proof in a way. So this is creating the structure in which success can be built. It's creating structure. We have it being met with a Knight of Cups. So there is um, an energy here of of love, of um, appreciation for this with the Ten of Cups. So whatever you're doing here, I feel like it's going to be received quite well with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. It's going to be received quite well. We'll dig deeper into this. Five of Wands, but then we have this conflict here. This Knight of Cups energy, this um, watery type of energy, um, is, is looking for happiness, is looking for bliss and joy, and there's some kind of conflict that's come up in, in terms of this for that person or for this group. So whatever, whatever energy they received from you before that put them in this loving energy and put, brought them this bliss, there is now some kind of um, conflict with that world, a, a new beginning possibly here to this conflict. Ten of Wands, and an ending to something. Ten and ten. You know, Spirit just does not tell us the end result, do they? And nor should they. That would be the answer book. That would be the answer book. And I don't think they like to work like that. That doesn't teach us anything. Strength. This person is really going to have to... Um, is really going to have to figure this out for themselves. They, they are conflicting with what your energy is now. There's some kind of a conflict. Um, there is a, a new beginning here or an ending that's looming for them. They have to decide. They are feeling like um, it's too hard. They feel like it's too hard. They feel like they're being controlled, that their destiny is being controlled. And they're trying to... Um, tackle their shadow. They're trying to um, handle that beast within them. They, they're not really seeing their true empowerment here. They're not seeing their true empowerment. I'll dig much deeper into this in the extended. I don't want to. I mean, this is, I'm giving you an extended reading here. This is what I do in the extended reading, but there's when there's energy to come out, I like to bring it out. The tower flipped. Six of cups. It is a soul. It is a soul connection here, um, and soul connections to be can be all different types of relationships. But they really are. There's a connection that's deep within you, whether it's a soul path or somebody that you work with that you feel this really deep connection to, or there's a soul mate here that you feel a real connection to. The tower did flip, so this person could be going through some some changes in their life. A lot of cards on the table swords so there is some kind of decision that comes from this for them some kind of decision here and we'll dig deeper there's a definitely a communication that comes in there is a process and a procedure you're taking control here Aquarius you're taking control right this is something that you manifested this is something that you did with your work this is not anything that they did right and somehow 
they have received something or something has been taken away from them that is affecting their happiness, that is affecting their joy and their bliss. Some kind of an energy source has been changed and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. So um, I'll go deeper. I'll go deeper into this in the extended reading. Hopefully it'll help, but that's... <laughs> Dang it. They're not really telling us, are they? We'll see what else we can get in the extended. All right, let's move on now to the guidance. We have the Five of Swords coming out. We have the Sun. And we have the Hermit. So there's obviously some kind of a conflict here. And it's a conflict that um, is brought forward because of petty energies, uh, because of selfishness, and because of fear. Five energies are because of change, and change energies are uncomfortable. This is because you guys are at different vibrations, and therefore, um, whatever this is, there is some sort of a, um, a friction here because of the vibration difference. And one thinks the other is being selfish, and the other thinks the other one is, right? There's perspectives here. This person thinks those people are being selfish and those people think this one is. It's like a, it's a standoff. Whatever this conflict is, remember your power. Remember who you are. Remember who did this work. Remember her, who journeyed this way. Remember what gives you guidance. Remember the power of the sun. Be optimistic. Be powerful. Be powerful. No one can take this away, Aquarius. Stand in what you are and stand in front of what you created and what you've done. No one can take this away from you. This is yours. This is yours. Claim it and own it. We also have the hermit energy. This is an energy of wisdom and enlightenment, of digging deep into what the situation is, finding the answers, looking at what your role has been and what you've done in your role and what you've said and what you intend to do. And look at the role of the community or the other person the partner and see what their role has been and what they have done and what they intend to do and what their agenda is and look at both of those things and compare them and find truth in it and find guidance within it. And from there, create a plan, a strategy of how you're going to move forward and move forward, come back out of that cave and implement your ideas. This is enlightenment. This is wisdom. This is a life liver. This is a life walker. This is wisdom. And nobody can argue with this. This is also inspirational, right? It's inspirational. It will inspire others, the walk that you're walking. Um, the hermit energy can go into a cave, can really think about things, deliberate, uh, deliberate about things. And the hermit energy can come out and walk just a little bit differently. The hermit can adjust his walk and his strategy, not because someone told him to, but because he dug deep. He found the answers within himself and he himself has decided how to move forward. And it could be different from what he decided before. So there could be a little bit of a different idea here that's coming out with the hermit. There could be a win-win situation here. But again, there is a need here to remember to not give away anything, that this is something that you have done and you will not give this away. This is not something to be given away. No one else can take your son. They need to create their own sun. They need to heal and create their own sun for themselves, each individual person on this planet. And so there is a reminder here to not give it away, not diminish it, not diminish yourself, but to move forward in a wise, careful way. The hermit doesn't speak a lot. He doesn't, he's kind of like the, the high priestess. He doesn't speak a lot. He has a kindness. He has a compassion. He wants to teach, right? He wants to teach but he also is not giving this away. And so he is finding some kind of a plan that will be kind and compassionate, but will be stern. Remember, we have the King of Swords. Will be stern and fair and unmoving. But first, he's finding out what he wants to do. And then once he determines that, that's what it's going to be. Okay, so I think this will be fine. Um, I think it's going to end up fine. Um, the other person, I think it's up to the other person to decide on what they want to do. And for each and every one of us, it's going to be different on what they decide to do. But I think you're in a really strong place. 
I think you're at the point where you're saying, whatever happens, I'm okay. Whatever happens, I am okay because I have this and I have this, right? You'll be fine. It's up to them on what they want to do. You're putting the ball in their court and they can decide if they walk away or if they work with this, work with you on this. But the attitude has to be there. The mindfulness has to be there. The positive mindset has to be there. Also it won't work because you're in the star energy. <sighs> okay, Aquarius, that's the energy. That's the reading. I hope it's helped. I am going to go into the extended now and let me look at what I'm going to um, look at here. I'm going to look at the Wheel of Fortune to see what that is. Um, I'm going to dig deeper into the Two of Wands because there's some sort of strategy you're working on here. What happened to the, what did I do with the devil? I must have put the, I put it back. I'm going to go into this um, devil energy and, and see what this devil energy, see if I can get more information about this devil energy. Dang it, Jody, I put it back in the deck. Give me a second. Um, the devil energy, and then um, I'll find it after I'm done recording. This Princess of Swords, this Page of Swords is interesting energy. Uh, I want to go into this Knight of Cups too to see what you're going to do here. And um, I'm going to look at, when I, when I find the Devil Energy, I'm going to dig pretty deep into the Devil Energy and see what this community or this person um, what is causing this devil energy? I'm just curious about what's causing it. So that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to look at these energies. I'm going to dig deeper. I'm going to look at what's causing the, the devil energy. And I'm going to look at um, maybe how that person or community feels. Dig into that and see if we can investigate a little more, a little bit more in that. All right, Aquarius, it's been interesting. It's been fun. It's been interesting. I hope this helps. Wish you all the best. Thank you.